the coffee break. It's people's favorite part of the seminar because they can talk, they're free, they can connect and exchange in the way that works for them. What if, rather than forcing people to listen, we create the conditions to let people talk? As leaders, our role is to tap the collective intelligence, to let people talk, to be inclusive, to collaborate, Dialogue is the best way to navigate the complexities, the multifaceted issues we face. The goal is not consensus, it's breakthroughs. Inviting diverse voices into conversation is still the best way to find answers to tough questions. Talking takes time. Think about the great conversations you've had. They had a purpose. They could have only happened with the people who were there. You had the time, you had the energy. To foster conversations that matter, recreate those conditions. Purpose, partners, time, energy. You can start by building talking time into your programs. To make talking time really productive, structure the time and guide the process. Ensure the purpose is clear, establish the central question, and then set up a series of conversations that build on each other. They may first diverge and then converge. You may want to talk about issues and then options and then actions. You need to pick the structure that will create the conversations that need to happen. By setting the conditions to let people talk, we become co-creators, meaning makers, builders of the future. If you want people to listen, let people talk. <laughs>